Let's build a sofa bed. Let's rewind a little bit to when this room was still the room of doom. And in that room of doom makeover video, you saw me take up the floor, put a new floor down, take down a vintage floor wallpaper and replacing it with a different vintage floor wallpaper, take out a wall of mirrors, I covered it with a sticky back wallpaper, and I finally took down a very dusty lace curtains and replaced it with a reeded glass. I want to build a sofa bed that fits exactly into the alcove I have here in the guest bedroom. But why buy if you can make it yourself and now I can also make it to fit exactly into the space I have. So I've done a sketch, went to buy some timber and now let's start building. I'm gonna start by building a very basic frame. To keep the build simple, I'm using smooth plain timber in two sizes. The frame is going to be made from timber that's 46 cm wide and 16 mm thick. And the slats are going to be made from timber that is 44 mm wide and 16 mm thick. The legs, however, have to be a chunkier timber. And this is a piece of square timber that is 75 mm. So the frame fits exactly into the alcove. It's a length of a single mattress plus a bit extra. I made four legs, one at the front, one at the back, one at the middle, and one where the single mattress finishes. Now let's start on the piece that's gonna pull out. I'm gonna cut a lot of timber, so it's all nice and smooth. And we're gonna assemble the front. It's gonna be one long piece, and for the legs, we're gonna glue and screw a piece of timber on the front, one in the middle, and one in the back. This frame that you're going to pull out is going to be the length of your single mattress, so 190 centimeters. And you do the same with the other legs. Just make sure the leg in the middle actually lines up with the legs of the frame you just built. So now we have the length of the sofa frame and of the frame you're going to pull out to create the bed. Let's put the sofa frame together by gluing and screwing in the front, the back and the piece that's going to sit just where the single mattress finishes. And then it's time for the slats. I cut these off the size, send them nice and smooth. And we're going to pre-drill holes a couple of centimeters from the end where you're going to screw it into the frame. You're going to pre-drill these because then you have less chance of the timber splitting. You're going to screw the slats into the frame. You're going to make sure there's space enough in the middle for one whole slat plus one centimeter each side. Keep going until you finish the whole length of the bed. Now let's prep some slats that were used in the pull out bit and you do these in exactly the same way. So you're gonna cut them to size, sound nice and smooth, but you only have to pre-drill these on one end. Now these slats are gonna sit in between the slats you just screwed in, but be careful, you're only gonna screw this into the frame that pulls out. So you're gonna glue and screw these just in the frame that's on the front. Wipe away any of the glue that might have spilled out, and this is all of your slats finished. And on my scrap piece of timber shopping list, I was writing down the measurements of the extra bits I need for the end. I'm gonna cut these, sand them, and put them in place, same as I did on the first couple of slats. You just screw this into both sides of the frame. This is where my table is gonna sit. These last couple of steps, you might have seen a bit of a smudge on my hand, but there's a really cute drawing Kiki often likes to do on my hands. Okay, let's see if this actually works, if it pulls forward. Ah, yes, it does. Now, let's finish off the frame by adding some bits of timber to the front. 
and cover up the not so nice legs uh, with lots of wood glue and scrap pieces of the frame timber. I'm just gonna push them in place and then wrap them with a bit of tape and this will set in a few hours. We're gonna do the same for the piece of frame you pull out. It's gonna look nice but also I'm gonna use a piece of timber that's slightly wider so I create a little bit of an upright for those mattresses to sit behind so they don't slide off the sofa. To keep the slats of the pull-out frame together at the back, we're gonna staple on a piece of woven ribbon. I'm using a heavy-duty stapler for this, and you're only gonna staple this on the slats that you pull forward. As my alcove is longer than the length of a single mattress, I have a piece of 40 cm spare once the mattress is in place. I thought it's perfect for a table. So a piece of plywood glued and screwed into a piece of timber creates a cute little table that just sits over the slats and this piece of timber is going to keep it from moving too much up and down. I'm giving the frame one last sand and then it's ready for some colour. You can paint the bed, leave it as is, but I chose to do a wood stain that's almost the same colour as the cabinets around it. To lock the movable frame in place when not in use, I simply screwed in an L bracket to two of the slats, one on the front and one on the back. And this hooks behind the frame when not in use, so it sort of stays in place. And when you want to use it, just simply lift it up and you can slide your frame forwards. The stain on the tabletop too, and now it's time for the mattresses. Uh oh, I think I might have made a mistake with these mattresses because they are way too tall and as you can see, way too squishy to make a sofa. As you can see, the bed is empty behind me again. The mattress I ordered was completely the wrong one. It was springy and too uh, soft, so when you sat down it, it completely collapsed. So not the right mattress for this sofa bed, unfortunately. And then I want to send it back, but I realized that was going to be the cost of um, one and a half of the mattresses without guarantee actually going to get my money back for the mattresses. So I thought, you know what? They're just going to go to the charity shop. They collected them and now they can sell them and put the money to good use because they're comfortable to lie on. This not good to sit on for a sofa bed. But yeah, empty bed again. But the new mattresses just got delivered. I went for uh, a foam one, also less high, less thick. So fingers crossed these work, because I really don't want to spend any more money on mattresses. I think Kevin agrees. It's comfy. It's rock hard. <laughs> it's actually really, really hard. But um, that's what I want for um, a sofa. And I love a firm bed to sleep on. So uh, I like it. What do you think, Kevin? Comfy? Hey, you know what? Should we put a cover on this one so you can lie on it? With my second order, I got it right. These mattresses are perfect and not too high and really nice to sit on. Now let's make the sofa to make it look all nice and cozy. I can't believe I built my own sofa bed and it's such a comfy place to sit. And when we have guests over, it easily transforms into a king size bed. I know, king size, it's massive. You just have to slide out the base, flip down the mattress and that is it. 
If you enjoyed this video, there's loads of my videos just like this here on the Handmade Home channel. So why don't you go and explore my whole back catalogue and make sure to tune in again next week for a new video here on Handmade Home.